Many years of living in an artist's home, both my mother-in-law is a ceramist and my father-in-law, of course, the artist. I think we grew up with a sense of how difficult it is to be an artist, any kind of artist. I think Satish as an artist was extremely prolific. But there was also a great sense of bravado and experimental kind of genius in him because he didn't hesitate. From plastic to glass to wood to ceramic to bronze to all types of stone to metal, there's not a material a man didn't touch. This is a spectacular artwork because its size is spectacular. It's in excellent condition. It's unusual to actually see wood in these tiny, tiny slats. He would actually create like a block and then carve out of it. I think it's, it's the process, which is very much a key to Satish's work. I think he started in the late 70s, early 80s as an experiment. It's actually brunt wood. It's because the wood is charred, the brute force of it. People don't use black easily. There is a torn sense of the leather, there is a red pigment, there is the wood, there is the burnt feeling and there are definitely tying up of people and their expression of freedom and their rights. It was this terrible time of uh, the Sikhs being sort of targeted and Delhi was definitely burning. Delhi riots really kind of honed that entire, uh, that series into a very important expression of how he felt. And at that time, he was reminded of the partition. It was just that he was moving into a more happier state. Work started getting far more three-dimensional, sculptural, almost like popping out of a frame. So he did do a lot of things that a lot of people attribute to a Ganesh look. I don't think they're Ganeshes. They were just more fluid and more at ease. I think a lot of the elements on this particular work are also kind of tribal-like elements of good luck, like the cowrie shell. That dates back a little bit in his mind, maybe to Mexico, where he studied when he was very young. Considering he had a, a very tough childhood by having a terrible accident, losing his hearing very young, having to live through the partition, having lost a lot of close friends and family members. But I think he was so joyous. Every single person reacts to it with love. They love these Brantwood series. And I think he would have been happy to know that because it was definitely from a very emotionally charged moment in his life.